Welcome to a new episode in the series dedicated to the Interlac 8 system. Today I'm going to show you the Interlac 8 uh, monitor commands and uh, I'll try to give some uh, details about how to execute the commands and what they are doing. So I have already started the Interlac 8 simulation. I'm going to press the reset button which causes it to stop the monitor ROM uh, you can uh, see it here it's, uh, it says uh, 8008 version 3.0 I have here the source code uh, back then uh, the source code for monitors uh, was published so anyone can could take a look and uh, either uh, reuse some code or change some data here so uh, I've included here the link uh, for the original source I will uh, also include it in the description of the video so this is uh, version 3.0 from uh, April 1975 uh, and uh, you can see here it contains uh, additional code from 1974 so it's quite an old code uh, also, I've compiled this source code using the macro assembler. For this purpose, I had to change uh, several uh, things. I've noted here what I had to change. These are only cosmetical changes uh, without an effect on the actual uh, uh, way the monitor runs. Uh, you can see, for example, I changed uh, not with this tilde sign and uh, so on. But uh, as I said, uh, the original uh, function is present here. And uh, in the simulation, uh, you may find also this uh, source code and the hex file uh, that has been generated. So if we look uh, here in this uh, comment, uh, we see the commands that can be uh, executed and here we have a definition for each uh, of the commands. Uh, as you can see, there are commands without uh, parameters. Uh, this uh, n command, leader command, so let's see it. Okay, so it doesn't do much. Uh, we have uh, commands with uh, one parameter, uh, for example, this C or A. Uh, we have uh, commands with uh, two parameters, uh, for example, B uh, with two number parameters. Uh, also this assign IO command uh, which uh, actually has two parameters and an equal sign uh, you can see the rest of the commands have a comma between the parameters and uh, we have uh, commands with three parameters now I will not go uh, through the commands precisely in this order uh, I will uh, start with this B command, so it says it's uh, producing B, B and PF uh, output, so let's try it. Uh, we have to provide two parameters, B, uh, starting address, uh, remember this is in hexadecimal, for example, zero, <coughs> and uh, an end address, uh, for example, ten, but Remember, this is in uh, hexadecimal, so it will produce uh, 16 uh, numbers encoded using uh, BNPF format. And uh, there is already a video about uh, this particular uh, format, BNPF. So next uh, we have a D command which allows displaying memory addresses so again two parameters 0, 10, I've used the same parameters so now you can see in hexadecimal uh, the content at uh, memory location starting with uh, 0, ending with 10 again this is hexadecimal 
So you can see the corresponding hexadecimal for each of the BMPF uh, encoded uh, values here. Uh, similarly, we have a W command, uh, which uh, again I will type it as W0, 10. Uh, and in this case, it will produce a hex file uh, containing uh, the SIM information. Uh, again, I created uh, several videos about the hex file format and uh, uh, hex file viewer. So please take a look at that if you are not familiar with this uh, hex format. Uh, we also have an end file command. Uh, this is again used with uh, hex files. Uh, so you can uh, specify a and uh, the number here is uh, the starting address associated with uh, this file. For example, let's say four and it will produce this uh, end of file record. Uh, again, please have a look at uh, the hex file format videos that I already created. Now, uh, if you have a program in memory, then you can use this G and a number to execute the program. Uh, let's say G3800. Uh, so what uh, this does, it actually uh, restarts the monitor because the monitor is uh, stored beginning with address 3800. So uh, as you can see, the monitor initialization message is uh, displayed. Um, now, if you have a BMPF uh, tape, you could load it using L. I don't have one, so I can't show you this one. Um, you can also use uh, read uh, to load a hex program from a tape, for example. Now, uh, what I can do is uh, uh, tape. So, for example, I have here uh, command uh, and I can say read and specify an address uh, which is actually an offset for the address in the uh, hex file so I will just specify zero so R0 okay so the program was uh, read into memory and uh, it was uh, executed and you can see here the output. Uh, however, now uh, the CPU is uh, in the halt state, uh, as you can see in the front panel. So what you can do is reset it. And again, you got back to the monitor. <coughs> um, and then uh, let's take a look at this assign IO command. Uh, this allows uh, specifying a device for, uh, well, a physical device for a logical device. We have logical devices, console, uh, reader, list, and punch. And physical device, CRT, uh, teletype, uh, paper tape reader, paper tape punch, uh, batch, and uh, user device 1 and 2. Now, the user device 1 and 2 uh, need you to provide uh, additional uh, root times uh, that must be available in memory. So, uh, if you have some custom uh, root times, uh, you can uh, load them into ROMs and specify them here. But uh, usually, you would uh, just specify uh, another device for the console. So, for example, you can say if you would have a CRT. Uh, you would specify a sign uh, console uh, equals CRT. Uh, actually, the monitor uh, will read a single uh, character, but uh, you can write the entire name if you want. For example, a, uh, console uh, equals CRT. Okay, so what happens now? Uh, the system expects uh, following input from the CRT 
uh, and uh, we don't have a uh, terminal in this simulation. I will make in the future uh, a video about the simulation with uh, terminal, but currently uh, there is none. So again, uh, it kind of hanged and we need to reset the monitor. So it's not in a halt state, but we can no longer uh, interact with it uh, from the tenant type. So I will reset it. Okay, uh, now I got back to it. Uh, one thing uh, that uh, you should consider is that this uh, IO setting is actually stored at memory location 3. You can examine this with, uh, for example, D. Uh, 3, uh, comma 3. So it will display the content of memory location 3. As you can see, this is 0. Uh, I can, for example, say assign uh, list uh, equals CRT. Now, if I do a D3, uh, 3, comma 3, uh, I see that uh, there is actually value 40 stored here. So if you want, you can uh, directly manipulate uh, this byte instead of using the uh, assigned command. Uh, also, the same thing uh, is obtained if I say, for example, A L equals C. As I said, uh, the monitor is actually ignoring uh, everything after the first character until the equal sign and then reading the next character. So you can also say something like uh, A L L L L equals C C C C. And again, there is no error and the same value is being set. Uh, now, um, you can uh, also, for example, set punch to paper tape punch if you have uh, something other than uh, the teletype so let's say a punch equals ptp okay let's take a look okay so this time we have the value five zero remember this is in hexadecimal and uh, now, for example, if we try to print again BPNF format, so B, uh, let's say 0, uh, 10, uh, this will actually be printed to the PTP. Uh, so uh, again, we don't have a device connected in this simulation. So again, uh, the monitor hanged. Okay, so uh, this pretty much covers the uh, interaction with the monitor for the 8008. As I said in the future, I will uh, make a video with a more complex simulation uh, containing additional devices and uh, then we can uh, take another look at uh, interacting with uh, the monitor. Thank you for watching. Uh, as usually, please leave any comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye.